Okay. And we're back. We're headed towards Riverwood. Um, I meant to pause the game up where we left the Helgen Keep thing, but I forgot because that's how much I love Skyrim. Um, yep, that's how much I love it. So, uh, I actually am not sure I know where this road leads. I guess we could check our map. Get the map. Tutorial. Um, oh, here's another, uh, mod that I have. It added the roads. Um, you know, there are some places where the roads are pretty clear, obviously, because, like, the snow isn't over where the roads are, but, like, over here, especially all across the island, I want to do that. Uh, I don't want you to remove it. I hate those. Especially across, like, the white run hold and everything. Or in here, where everything is mountains. I was like, I, I was just like, oh my gosh, I need a road map. And they didn't have the roads on the map. So when I found a mod that had roads on the map, I was like, I'm taking it. So, yeah, very exciting. Um, I have another awesome map mod. Um, I'm trying to scratch the top of my head and headphones are covering it. Um, where you, it's a lot more, uh, in-depth. Like, all of the individual places are markers. So, like, in Whiterun, there's a marker for the War Maidens and a marker for the Bannered Mare and, um, yeah. It's, it's nice when you, like, want to go exactly somewhere and you don't have to march all over, all over the place. Um, so, but this is where we are. We're taking this road on down. So this road goes to... This road could go to Falkreath. Okay. Cool. And it could go to Iverstead. Yeah, I'm not... I know that some people, when they do Let's Plays or walkthroughs, like, they try to... They try to hide stuff for people who have never watched it before, which... My assumption is at this point most of the people who are watching it have never watched it before. Uh, and I don't See think that, that I could Bleak Falls uh, Barrow. lie to you guys born, and pretend that I've never played this stuff before and I don't know what's coming. Creeping down so, the the sorry about the that. Night. I hope that it doesn't kind of ruin the commentary I still don't much like the look of it. experience for you. Yeah, he's talking about that awesome thing up there. It is super creepy. Also, it's covered with bandits. Oh! Hmm. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Awesome. Go ahead. See for yourself. Okay, so. The way I used to do this, the way I've been in the habit of doing this, is because I really want a hundred percent everything I'll start I'm a I'm a save the best for last kind of person so I always start with the warrior stuff um, so I'd always come and be like I have to get this stone so that it levels up all my warrior skills as fast as I possibly can although I can never get block 100 because I never use it never use block um, the problem with that is that when you get high enough level so that I feel comfortable switching over when I'm like I'm done with a warrior don't want to keep doing it um, when you switch over everything is so hard and you're starting off with thief stuff at like you know 20 level points or whatever instead of 100 that you just keep reverting back to your warrior stuff to kill things and it's like man this isn't the fun way to do it so this time, I am starting with Thief, and that's what I'm doing. Um, and he doesn't really approve of Thief, he didn't say anything, but sometimes he's like, it's never too late to change your path or something. If you choose the warrior one, he's like, yes, I approve, I like warriors. I mean, clearly, look at him. Listen. As far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your part. Oh yeah? But get that confirmed by General Tullius. Just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, alright? Deal. 
so. And uh, in case you don't know, if you follow Hadvar, um, if you follow Hadvar at the beginning, it does not condemn you to being a member of the Imperial Legion. Yeah, it does not. Um, I think actually, like in the quests, you can switch a couple times before it really cements what your uh, allegiance is. Um, so if you really don't like the Imperial Legion just because you follow Hadvar to get that extra first room in the tutorial episode, doesn't mean that you have to go fight for General Tullius. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Man, this is just... I never... The one thing that I can really never get over about Skyrim, and it's... It cracks me up. Ooh, I'm gonna try for it. Like, obviously it's not... Ah, missed him. Obviously it's not, like, perfect. I mean, if you've ever seen pictures of real-life mountains, you know, obviously they're not quite the same. You know, you can tell that they're pixely and stuff. Although I will say that I have seen some pictures, uh, like screenshots. Um, I'm a big nerd, so I use them as, like, my backgrounds and stuff. And I have a couple where, uh, some family members have seen them and been like, Oh, where is that? And I was like, it's in Rifton? Um, of course, they didn't realize it was video game stuff. They thought it was a real life thing, which is just absolutely hilarious. Um, what's going on? And who's this? She's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside. You guys are gonna learn that I'm really, really good at losing my train of thought, so I'll just like trail off when I'm talking about something and forget what it was. It'll be a surprise to me when I watch the video as much as it will be to you. Um. But, yeah. Oh, right. Um, yeah, obviously Skyrim doesn't look quite like real life stuff, but they really got, they got the idea of scale down really well. They, uh, like when you look around and, like, it just feels big, you know? I actually think it's only supposed to be like 20 miles across or something, which, I mean, that's not that big. Get you something to eat. I guess it is for running back and forth, but now then, it's not horrible. What's the big mystery? What I are you doing here you. looking so like you lost an argument anything? with a cave bear? I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' goal. We will stop the Nhelion when we were attacked by a dragon. Okay. Now a maybe dragon? I can look at you and talk That's to you without the ridiculous. You want drunk, dangerous stealing are you stuff. Boy? Husband. Let him tell his story. I totally do that. To I call my husband this husband. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to solitude and let them know I just looked happened. over at him and I got this picture I thought you of some could help famous us actor out. in my head, but Food, I don't know who it was. Supplies a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. Maybe Chris Hemsworth. Glad to help however I can. Like I said, but I need your help. We need your help. Okay. The Yarrow needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Oh. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Do you have any supplies I could take? Like Wink, I said. I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need. Within reason. Help yourself. Taking it all. Okay. Um. Cross how do I get the river to and then here? head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach. The Jarl's Palace. 
All right, good to know. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Good to know. All right, I don't... Okay, what can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Cool. That is not as much information as I know. Good day. About it already. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have so, any teeth? So now he well, said, uh, get back to work. you know. You two make yourselves at home. And it, he wants to help in any way he can, so I can, like, take stuff from his house now. Awesome. Which means I'm going to take all of his gold. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Uh, give me all your gold. That's what I want. Did you really see a dragon? And some of these alchemical ingredients. Yes, I did. Um, apparently, I was surprised to learn that cheese is something that people collect, which cracks me up. Dang it, come on. There we go. Yeah, uh, cheese is something people collect, which is really funny. Um... Papa says I'm so, and of course, that is something that I can steal, and I want you it, seem all right. but I don't think I'm going to get it right now, because... Oh, I am. I don't mind stealing things. Um, I'm not going to steal things to sell them at this point. Someday I probably will. Someday later. Oh, that's actually worth something. Um, yes, that's another mod that I have. Uh, it makes um, hunting, taking time to hunt, actually worth it. I don't know how much that bear pelt is worth. Yeah, it's worth 500. <laughs> so, um, we obviously, I obviously wanted to upgrade my smithing skill. But it makes it worth it to go out and um, hunt to, you know, make money and stuff because that's actually a thing that people did but you know when the bear pelt was like 30 gold it wasn't really worth it am i stuck oh no i'm just pressing the wrong button oh you guys will get used to me i hope um i would love to steal that hunting bow but i don't want to steal anything um so but yeah i mean they can't they can't tell but you know, that hide whatever I made is made out of a stolen bear pelt. Although they can tell if the bear pelt is stolen, even though I have one exactly like it that's not stolen in my pack. Um, I don't know what I'm doing around here. I'm just exploring. Explorifying. Okay. So, we need to go to Whiterun. That's not a wolf. I almost shot that poor dog. Um, this is another one of the first things that I do when I come. Or when I start doing Skyrim. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get a follower. I know a lot of people find them annoying, but, um, there's one here. This guy. He's Did a, I, see you I really like. Maybe not. Maybe, uh, never I like mind. him as a follower. But I would stay away from him if I were you. Oh, yeah? What's your problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. 
You're right. When have words ever inspired feelings of love? I don't need your jokes right now, but maybe you have a point. Maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. There are several ways that you can do this, and obviously the easiest way is just to take this letter and give it to uh, Camilla. But I think that you can show Sven this letter, and then he'll be like all uppity and stuff, and he'll write a letter from Feindal to Camilla. And you also have the option to tell, when you hand it to Camilla, you also have the option to tell her who it's really from. So you can either... I don't know if you'd, like, try to do the double cross and then, like, the double double cross. I don't know if you can do the double double cross. I think you can. Oh. You got bored? Okay. I think you can do the double double cross. Um... You know what, I'm just going to save it here, and I'm going to try it, because I want to see. It would make me feel a lot better to manipulate people honestly than dishonestly. So let's go find Sven and tell him about Feindel's letter. Alright. Orgnar. It's a traveling merchant. That's another mod. Hard not to. I have a lot of mods to make money, and the more merchants you have, the more money you can make. Feindel Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling you. Okay, well, Feindel wanted me to deliver this letter to Camilla and say it was from you. Actually, before we give it to him, let's, let's read it. Because it's kind of funny. Feindel's fake letter from Sven. My dearest Camilla... I yearn to have you as my own, washing my linens and my fine blonde hair, to cook my dinner from my stove and tend to my house while I wander. Yours truly, Sven. Yes, what woman would love to hear those words? Okay. Like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. So Feindel wanted me to deliver this letter from Camilla, or to Camilla, and say it was from you. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a I bit think of a you mean dribble. Feindel? Here, I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. Okay, so mm -hmm. now I want to read Sven's fake letter from Feindel. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I am a true-born son of Valenwood, and I could never befoul my bloodline by courting an imperial. <laughs> How funny. Okay, so the first one made him to be a chauvinist, and now the other guy is trying to make him look like the first guy's a racist. How funny. So we'll go in and see Camilla. And I really don't want to get too involved with... Side well, quest. One of us has to do something. I said no. No Maybe you could talk no some theatrics. sense into my pig headed yeah. brother. You can double double cross. Okay, so I can tell her that the letter is from Vandal, or I can tell her the letter is from Sven. And I want to tell her the truth, because I don't like to lie. So Sven wanted to trick you into believing this letter was from Feindal. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He he wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. All right, then. That's right. Okay, so we did just see them having a fight. And next time, the first time we talk to this guy, he'll mention it. So, be warned, we did see them having a fight. But we're going to go back and get our follower really quick. Oh, I think we're going to have to wait. Because it's... Oh, it's not locked. But he's probably going to be like, you should be here. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Oh. 
What can I do for you? He's very nice. Yeah, this is uh, worth... I thought the troll skulls were worth more than... Tell me, as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. That. Okay, well, I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Mm-hmm. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. So now, his stuff... Okay, well, maybe we have to go back out and in. Actually, I bet... Uh... If you... Oh. If you don't have this awesome... I've got your back. What do you want me mod, to carry? Where everything is worth more? Uh, you can just take that stuff. Um... Yes, I want a key to your house. <laughs> Give me all you have. Ooh, I want to hunt to go. And now I'm planning on giving him some crap. Uh, you can have the longbow. How do I can we unfavorite and unfavorite? So, uh, you want some imperial light stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna keep those. Oh, here's another mod that I would recommend to anyone who is playing on PC. Um, it's called Sky UI. Uh, it is just a way better way of doing um, the inventory and stuff. I have no idea how long I've been recording. Lead on. Um, maybe it hasn't been that long. Okay, so now we have our follower. Um, I think I'm gonna call this good for now. We're headed up to White Run, so we'll get to the edge of Riverwood and we'll pause it and we'll call it a day. So, oh man, it's just so beautiful. I think there's a mod where you can turn the moon into the Death Star, which is funny. So, yep, that's gonna be it for this episode. We didn't do a whole lot. I don't think we did a whole lot. Um. We kind of just ran around and acquainted ourselves with Riverwood. Got the next part of the main quest, so... Um, yep, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for sticking around and bearing with me as I learn how to commentate and everything. So, yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye.